15 minutes of your time, I promise it's going to be so, so worth it. Whether you're a Christian, whether you've been a Christian for 10 years, whether you've been a Christian all your life, or whether you're just starting out in your Christian walk, we want to learn what the Bible has to say. And I'm so, so, so excited. This Bible study is going to change your life. Again, you can watch a ton of other things. You can watch Mr. Beast for 15 minutes. You can watch so many other things for 15 minutes. I promise if you watch this for the next 15 minutes, it's going to change your life. I'm so excited that you're here. I want to start out by praying and then I'm going to get going. Father God, I thank you for this live stream. God, I thank you that you're going to change lives. God, I thank you their life will never be the same. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. And everyone said, amen. Let's go, Friday night, gang. I'm going to flip around the camera, and then I'm going to keep going. Uh, hopefully, you guys can still keep seeing me. Okay, if you have a Bible, go grab a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, that's okay. I'm going to actually show you with my phone. So, starting out in Romans, Romans chapter 3. I want to emphasize this. So many people think that they're going to heaven or hell based on how good they are. They think that they're going to heaven or hell based on all the things that you've done in your life. You say, Gabe, I've, I've been to church 10 times. I've watched 10 Bible studies. I've, I've read my Bible 10 times. I've went into a mass 10 times. I've been baptized even 10 times. Those things are all great. Those things are all fine, but none of those things will get you to heaven. You say, you say Gabe, I feel like I'm a good enough person for God. I feel like I pray enough. I feel like I watch enough Christian TikTok videos to get to heaven, but still those things aren't good enough. And the, I'll, there's also the person on the, on the other end of this, on the other end of this phone right now, you think that you're not good enough for heaven. You, you know, as a fact that you've made too many mistakes, that you're not a Christian type of person. This video is for you. I have good news for you. Starting out in Romans chapter three, Romans chapter three and verse 23. I want to show you this with my phone. Again, I do want to say last video, so many people watched until the end that we send it out to more people. So if you guys choose to watch these full 15 minutes, what happens is if you choose to watch the full 15 minutes, YouTube sees that. And then once everybody watches all 15 minutes, YouTube sends this video out to more people. So even if you already know how to go to heaven, if you just watch these next 15 minutes, you'll be helping the video reach more people for Jesus. So more people will hear about Jesus if you will just watch this for 15 minutes. Agree? Deal? <laughs> Comment deal in the comment section if you agree. Okay, here we go. Romans chapter 3. We're going to be looking at verse 23. Check this out. Romans chapter 3 and verse 23 says this. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And you know, I, I compare going to heaven like this. Let's say you uh, were living your life and all of a sudden someone shot a bullet in your head. Someone shot a bullet coming straight for your head. And let's say this bullet, you could not escape it. You could not run away from the bullet. You deserve the bullet. Your acts deserve the bullet, right? And so you're living this life and all of a sudden you find that you yourself, you deserve this bullet, right? And then someone were to come along and take the bullet in your place. That is who Jesus is. You see, you feel like you're not good enough for God. You feel like you're not good enough for heaven. I have good news for you. Yes, you aren't good enough. Yes, you will not make it to heaven by yourself. You see, it's not your own works. It's not how good of a person you are that's gonna get you to heaven because the Bible says every single person has fallen. Say these words with me. Every single person has fallen. That's all say those words again. Every single person has fallen. And then check this out in Romans chapter 6. Turn with me to Romans chapter 6, everybody. Oh, I'm so excited you're watching this. Good job, everybody. You're sticking to the end. Good job. Good job. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Romans chapter 6. And we're going to be looking at verse, doo -doo 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 -doo, verse 23. Check this out. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23 says this. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Again, the scripture says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And this good news that I'm sharing with you tonight, it's good news because the truth is that, that the, what that means when it says the wages of sin, the wages means a price. And I always compare it like this. Uh, let's say I went into a store and I bought this apple juice, right? And let's say this apple juice. Thank you so much for that, Juliana. I appreciate that. I love to hear that. <laughs> this apple juice, let's say I bought, uh, oh, by the way, guys, I really do look at comments after this YouTube video is posted. So if you're watching this replay, be sure to comment and be sure to leave a like button if, if you want as well. The more times you do it, more people hear about Jesus. I don't do this for myself. I do it all for Jesus. So if everybody smashes the like button right now, it's going to hit more people for Jesus. Okay, back to my example. I walk into a store and I buy this apple juice. Now, I think this apple juice costs around like $3, right? And this apple juice, it costs $3. And I walk into to the store and I have to pay these three dollars I look around and I realize that I don't have the money to pay the three dollars and and I know that I have to buy the apple juice I look around and I realize that I can't pay it in of myself and a man walks up to me and he says Gabe you know what I know you can't pay it I know you can't on your own pay that apple juice let me pay 
your price in my place. And this man gives me $2. All I have to do is accept the $2 and put the $2 into the machine. As soon as I do that, I can walk away with the apple juice and it's called a free gift. Say that with me wherever you are listening to the sound of my voice. Say these words with me, free gift. Yes, good job everybody. <laughs> Say it with me again, free gift. And that is what salvation is. That is what heaven is. Heaven is a free gift. You know, a man once went into heaven and he was talking to the father. He was talking uh, to the father and the father God told him, he said, I don't want anyone to go to hell. I want every single person to come to heaven, but it's not God's choice. You see, God has sent Jesus to die on the cross. Just like I was buying this apple juice, just like I, I owed a certain amount of money for this apple juice. We all owe a price. It's called a price called sin. You see, we all deserve hell. But that is why God sent Jesus to die on the cross. That is why God sent Jesus to die on the cross and rose again for you. So all you have to do, remember how I gave you that example? That if I don't have the money to pay for this apple juice, number one, I need to realize that I don't have the money. I need to stop trying to be good enough on my own. I need to stop trying to be rich on my own. I need to be good at accepting the free gift. And so while you're listening to the sound of my voice tonight, we only have seven more minutes left in this video. Can you stay for seven more minutes? If you do, more people are going to hear the gospel. Let me keep going. And so all I have to do is accept this free gift. And so you that are listening to the sound of my voice tonight, whether you've already given your life to Christ, whether you already consider yourself a Christian, or maybe you're doubting it, maybe you don't know for sure, or maybe you're brand new here, no matter where you are in your faith, you're going to get stronger in your faith tonight. You're going to know this truth more than you've ever known it. Turn with me next to Romans chapter 10. This truth that I'm talking to you about, it happens in your heart. Say this with me. It happens in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Say it with me again. It happens in my heart. If you just got here, be sure to smash the like button. Everybody's just getting here. Smash the like button and share it to a friend as well. My goodness. We're getting everybody to this live stream. Share this to a friend too. It's going to change their life. Romans chapter 10. Are you guys ready? Romans chapter 10. Oh, I'm so excited. I sense Jesus here. Romans chapter 10. We're going to be looking at verse 8. Here we go. Romans chapter 10 and verse 8. Actually, we're going to be looking at verse 9. Romans chapter 10 and verse 9. Here we go. Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 says this. If you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. I love that verse. Let's read it again. If you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. And then I love this in verse 13, it says, whoever will call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For whoever will call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And so before I end this live stream, again, we just have six more minutes. Can you stay for just six more minutes? If you can, your life is gonna be changed. Here's what I love about going to heaven. Here's what I love about the price that Jesus has paid for you in your life. All you have to do is repent of your sins and make him Lord. You know, it's not enough just to believe that Jesus is real. It's not enough to believe that God is real. You've got to take the second step. Say that with me. Take the next step. Woo! <laughs> say it with me again. Take the next step. You've got to take the next step and say, Jesus, you are Lord. To say he is Lord is to say that he's number one. To say that he's Lord is to say that you're giving up your old life. You're giving up the sin. You're giving up the world. You know, when I accept this free apple juice from the person, I have to give up my wallet because my wallet doesn't have enough money. But you know who has enough money for my life? God. <laughs> You're, you cannot be good enough for God. But let me tell you, who can be good enough? Jesus. So don't try to accept your own money. Accept God's money. That's how you can accept Jesus. And so whatever you need in your life, whatever you're going through, no matter how much faith you feel like you have, no matter how good of a Christian you are, it's not about any of those things. It's about having faith in Christ and making him Lord over your life, making him number one, making him your everything. And that is why I'm so excited that you're listening to the sound of my voice tonight. That is why I'm so excited. And I sense Jesus through this YouTube video. I believe hundreds of thousands of people are going to be watching this YouTube video. Mark my words. God says hundreds of thousands of people are going to watch this YouTube video in the replay and their lives are going to be changed. And so in the next four minutes, I want to give you an opportunity no matter where you are in your faith, if you've already given your life to Christ or maybe you've never made that decision. Maybe you've been a Christian for 10 years. Maybe you've been a Christian for one minute or maybe you just came here from that TikTok video. Stay here. We're almost, we're almost done, everybody. We're almost done. In fact, we're setting a record right now on YouTube. We just hit 20,000. If you haven't yet, smash that subscribe button so you can stay with us on our Bible studies. And so 
So as we, as we, as we finish this, this live stream up, I just want to give you an opportunity. You see, the Bible says in Romans 10, 13, whoever will call on the name of the Lord. Thank you for that, Aaliyah. I'm so blessed by that. Thank you. It says, whoever will call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Guys, we're almost done. We just have three more minutes. Stay here for three more minutes. Romans 10, 13, whoever will call on the name of Jesus shall be saved. And so it is true. If you give your life to Christ, if you make Jesus Lord, you are going to heaven for sure. Now, once you give your life to Jesus, there's steps that you take after that, right? And you live a life for him, but your faith in Christ comes first. And if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord, you can know for sure that you will be saved. So for these next two minutes, I want to give you an opportunity to pray. And I just encourage you, wherever you are, wherever you are listening to the sound of my voice tonight, close your eyes with me and say these words. And as we say these words, I don't just want you to say these words uh, half-heartedly. I don't just want you to say these words kind of, sort of, like you mean it. No, I want you to say these words as if they were the only words you could ever again say in your life. Say these words with me as if they were, they were the most important thing you were to ever again say. Close your eyes with me and say this with me. Father, I believe Jesus died and rose again from the cross. (laughs) Jesus, you are alive. Jesus, you are Lord over my life. Say these words with me wherever you're watching this YouTube video. Jesus, I make you number one. I repent of my sin. I'm done living for myself. I'm done living for the world. I'm done being lukewarm. Jesus, I want to live 100% for you. I give you my life. Amen. Amen. Woo! (laughs) I sense Jesus here. If you just pray that prayer, what I want you to do is I want you to comment your name down below. I want you to comment your name. If it was your first time, I want you to say the words brand new. If, if, it, if you prayed that prayer before, but you're coming back to God, if you're, if you're already a part of Team Make Jesus Viral, if you're already part of the fam, just comment your name and say fam. So if you're already a Christian, if you've already given your life to Christ, but you pray that prayer again, comment your name and then say fam. But if this is your first time watching this live stream, if this is your first time giving your life to Christ, comment your name and then say brand new. So you're either going to say fam or brand new. What I also want you to do as we close this live stream, I want to welcome you into the family of God. Listen, this is just the start of your faith. This is just the start where you get and your relationship with God. It's just the start. It only goes up from here, but you see it's a walk. It's a its a relationship that you've got to keep pursuing. It's something you've got to keep learning about God. I encourage you, go get a Bible, download the Bible app, start out in John chapter one. And so as I close this YouTube video, uh, be sure be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on your notifications because I have good news for you. We have an online church almost every Sunday night, nine o'clock Eastern, eight o'clock central every sunday night nine o'clock eastern eight o'clock central we have live worship bible study and a zoom after i would love to see all of you guys there this sunday night every single sunday night so smash the subscribe button put a reminder on so you never ever forget it's going to be so amazing you get to meet other christian friends you get to do bible studies what i do is during the live bible study i have the bible study just like i did this with you guys and then i give the zoom code away so this sunday night i'm going to be giving a zoom code every sunday night all you have to do to get the zoom code with me is just watch the full youtube live stream in full i give away the zoom code from the beginning middle and end So if you watch the full live stream this Sunday and every Sunday, you can get on a Zoom with me. Again, in order to get on that, just set a reminder, smash the notification, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you then. Second step, uh, feel free to visit the website carrychrist.org, which I'm going to link in the description down below. And there's a little option where you can put in your name and your email. What I do with those email lists is I send Zoom calls, I send updates, I send prayer requests. If you would like to help pray for me as I preach the gospel, if you would like to help pray for this ministry, you can do so there. You see all the TikTok videos that you see, all the YouTube videos, they're not free. They've been supported by people who are praying. So if you would like to help support uh, the prayer team, you can visit the website carrychrist.com. Org. And then finally, if you would like to help uh, support me as I preach the gospel financially, I do podcasts, YouTubes, all that good stuff. If you'd like to do that, you can visit the website carrychrist.org, just link down in the description below, and you can click the donate button. What I do is I look at those who donate and then send out Zoom calls to those as well. So again, you can go to the website carrychrist.org and click the donate button. There's also a Venmo and Cash App link down to the description below that you can do so if you'd like. If you do Venmo or Cash App, just send me an email so I can stay up to date with you. 
Final thing I was gonna say, one more thing that I'm super, super excited about. If you're interested in any Make Jesus Viral merch, it has the same impact. It does not profit me directly. What it goes towards is a nonprofit ministry called Gay Pro Ministries, where I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. It helps me do my podcasts, do the YouTube videos, and it got me this microphone. We're gonna get a better microphone soon. We're ordering one very soon. And anyone that gets merchandise, it also helps me get a camera and a tripod. It helps me preach the gospel. We're also believing someday to have prayer partners, um, people responding to people praying, people responding to Instagram DMs. If you choose to get any merchandise, that's where that money goes towards. So thank you, thank you, thank you for doing any of those things. Again, if you just scroll down on this YouTube video, you'll see the merchandise shelf and you can kind of scroll through. These sweatshirts are like super comfy. Also, there's iPhone cases and all types of cool stuff. You can just click the merchandise button below. Finally, I want to let you know how much God loves you. Thank you to anyone who has chosen to donate. That money, you can be assured, does not profit me. It helps me preach the gospel. In fact, all the thousands of people are going to be watching this YouTube video. Uh, as In the end, you had an impact too. If you guys choose to give or pray, you guys have an impact with that. Finally, I want to give you an opportunity. This Christian walk is just the start. Your next step is to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. If you are interested in being baptized in the Holy Spirit, if you're watching this live stream, it's not going to show up. But on the replay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point to the card right here. Click this video. I think I'm going to try to make it. So click this video for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I have a whole playlist about how to speak in tongues. It's super, super important that you learn how to speak in tongues, that you learn how to pray in tongues. That's what changed my life even more so. That is what is going to help you in your Christian life. So if you're watching this live, uh, what you can do is go to my channel, go to the playlist, click the button playlists, and it says baptism of Holy Spirit. But if you're watching this as a replay, just click this video right here as I end card it. Finally, if you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to do so. It's going to change your life. Know that I love you.